Hi guys, we're back to read another story and we've been reading The Little Red Hen um, and I found a Texas version of The Little Red Hen. It doesn't have a hen in it. It's got an armadillo instead because we're in Texas and I love Texas. That's where we live. So I thought this would be a fun story and again, we can look for the same, the things that are the same and the things that are different in this story, okay? So even though there's not a hen, and there's not a dog, or a cat, or a duck, I bet we can find some similarities, some things that are the same. Let's look, okay? This book is called Armadilly Chili. All right, do you have your cowboy hat on? Let's put our hat on. We're in Texas, we gotta, we gotta do a hat, even if it's pretend. Okay, here we go. Miss Billy Armadilly skit scat skittered down the lane. A blue norther's a blowin' and my old cold bones are rattling for a pot of hot armadilly chili, she said. See, Miss Billy Armadilly? She was gathering beetles when her tarantula friend Tex came by. Hey, Tex! I'm making a pot of armadilly chili, said Miss Billy. How about tapping your toes this way and helping me gather a box full of beetles? Well, Tex wiggled his long jiggly legs and said, shucks, Miss Billy, I'm going dancing today. Well, then I'll fix my box with beetles myself. Self harumped Miss Billy. When she finished, Miss Billy headed for her garden. She was picking jalapeno peppers and chipotle chilies when Mackie the bluebird swooped down from his bush. A cold norther's blowing in, Mackie. How's about whistling us a tune and helping me pick a peck of peppers for my armadilly chili, said Miss Billy. See the bluebird? She wants him to sing her a song while she picks peppers for her chili. What do you think he's going to say? Oh, not today, Miss Billy, said Mackie. I'm shaking my tail feathers to the movie. Miss Billy snorted. Then I'll pick a peck of peppers by myself. After she finished, Miss Billy scurried to the prickly pear cactus patch and started chippity chop chopping. Her friend Taffy, a horned toad, looked down from a rock. How's a gal supposed to concentrate with such a racket going on? Taffy, I'm chopping cactus for my armadilly chili, said Miss Billy. How's about helping me chop a chunk or two? Can't you see I'm lacing my skates? I'm skating the day away, said Taffy. Miss Billy's face turned red. Then I'll do the chopping myself. When her basket was full, Miss Billy turned and hurried home. Have you ever seen a horn toad that skates? That's funny. So she began to fix her armadilly chili. She mixed and stirred and cooked and stirred some more. And soon the armadilly chili bubbled on the stove. Miss Billy was carrying out the trash when Tex tottered up. Well, howdy, Miss Billy, said Tex. It's a mighty cold night, and I could smell that armadilly chili a cooking all the way home from the dance hall. Miss Billy plunked the lid on the trash can. I have a say in Tex. No working with Billy, no sharing the chili. I'm afraid you danced yourself out of dinner, cowboy. Whoa, I'm sorry you feel that way, Miss Billy. And Tex whirled around and hurried home. Miss 
Billy stood there feeling sour as a scorpion. Suddenly, Mackie blew in on a cold breeze. It's a rough wind a blowin', Miss Billy, but I could face it if I could warm myself with a bowl of that fine smelling armadilly chili. Sorry, Mackie, snapped Miss Billy. No working with Billy, no sharing the chili. Maybe remember that movie will keep you warm. Mackie's tail feathers drooped and he flew away. Ooh, she's so upset that no one helped her. Finally, Miss Billy went inside to stir and taste her chili. It needed a little something, so she dropped a few more peppers in the pot. Ding dong! Miss Billy answered the door. Taffy stood there shivering. I'm freezing, Miss Billy. Could I beg a bowl of your hot armadilly chili? She chattered. Miss Billy shook her head. Land sakes, Taffy. A horned toad with goosebumps is one sorry sight. But no working with Billy, no sharing the chili. Taffy shivered and skated away. Finally, the chili was done. It smelled delicious. Miss Billy took a taste and her ears drooped. Her armadillo chili just wasn't right. It tasted flat as a Texas prairie. She checked her recipe. She hadn't forgotten anything. What was wrong? She looked around. Her kitchen was warm and bright and cozy. Outside, the wind howled and whistled. Miss Billy peered out the window into the darkness. I know what I forgot, she said. What'd she forget? What did she forget? Ding dong! The bell rang again. Miss Billy opened the door. Mackie, Tex, and Taffy stood in front of her, and she gasped. Ah, land sakes, your noses are as blue as I feel. What are you carrying there? Well, sacks full of apologies, Tex said. Well, come on in, said Miss Billy. I brought a thermos of hot apple cider for sipping with friends, Mackie said. I brought hot jalapeno biscuits for sopping with friends, Tex said. And I brought homemade fudge to sweeten us up, Taffy added. Miss Billy hugged them all. Friends, that's what my armadillo chili was missing. The four friends set the table together and then talked and laughed long into the cold, blustery night. And the armadillo chili was perfect. Look at them. So this one was even different from the last time. They still didn't help, right? That was the same in all the books. Someone was making something and no one else helped, but they all wanted to eat it when it was done, right? The bread and the pizza and the chili. But in this one, everybody went home and brought something back that they could share. Is that another way to be helpful? That's another way to be helpful. So they all got to eat that armadillo chili in the end, didn't they? That was a fun story. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.